Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Project Hospital. So, um, the uh, the little first look we did went down pretty well, everyone seemed to enjoy it. So I thought we'd come in and have a look at the game in a little bit more detail. It's going to be like a mini-series this, I think. I'm thinking sort of like four or five episodes. I want to get a basic little clinic set up, running well, but also, most importantly, uh, this is Geekism. So I do going to be concentrating on making it look as good as possible. That's what we're all about here, uh, creative gaming uh, for grown-ups. If you would like to see more creative gaming all you have to do is click subscribe and of course if you enjoy this video don't forget to give us a like it really does help out so um, one thing uh, that's happened since the preview video we did is the uh, we're a slightly newer better build now but it's mostly just bug fixes so nothing crazily different and um, although I've pointed out now that the money doesn't really matter even though we have a balance we can well go into the negative makes absolutely no difference so we're gonna be playing this pretty much as a sandbox so I had a very brief play around got rid of the little car park that it gives us uh, and instead we're going to go and look back at doing the car park again um, so here we're going to go, we're going to come in with this uh, dark coloured tile I think um, now what we have to do first is put down a foundation because that one doesn't actually work outside technically so we're going to have a foundation uh, here because we can't get rid of this little road here so we have to deal with this being, being part of our uh, path in all right so we're gonna have a car park here and here like that maybe a couple more wide like so yeah okay that looks all right and then we'll have the nice uh, dark floor to do this we don't actually oh no not colored tile sorry we want uh, that one that's like a plane there we go and although it isn't really flooring you know it kind of uh, it kind of works so we're, now what we're going to be able to do is every sort of few we can do a little line like this and it kind of gives it's a bit too close isn't it that it kind of gives an impression of um of a car park that's what i'm thinking yeah yeah all right let's see if that we can do that huh you just want extra one there i'll tell you what then let's do oops something like that and then a little more foundation here just to give us a uh, one two ooh, hold on one two no we don't want that there hold on let's demolish dynamite everything including foundation there we go that's what we want and then we can go back to our floor and fill that out there cool that's going to be a basic car park all right Probably do a little bit more car park in the future, maybe, but for now that'll do. Um, we're gonna gonna have a bit more foundation on here. Um, actually, it's a little thing. We got we have this nice uh, floor here, concrete bricks. It currently is, but we've got this one here as well, interlocking, which I think is much nicer. So what we'll do is we'll have this as our entrance, and we're gonna make this all like this here because this is gonna be. Uh, a bit of a green area as we come in for it okay and we'll take them off there as well just to keep it neat okay um, and now outdoorsy stuff let's have a look what we've got a nice little fence would be good aha perfect no can't put that there how there iron fence can only be placed outdoors right because technically this isn't outdoors anymore because it's a foundation there that's a shame um can we do uh Posters, stuff, uh, decals, they're not really there. They come on walls, don't they? Okay, how about, is there any low-lying walls? Doesn't think there is. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what we can do. It's going to be a bit of a uh, annoyance because we're going to have to take it down. But what we can do is basically squish everything over one, can't we? So let's put some foundation in there. There we go. Uh, very quickly, just... Uh, Let's just do that. Okay, there we go. Um, we've moved it all over a little bit, so we should now be able to put in our iron fence sort of down here. So what have we got? We've got rope fence, iron fence, oh, roof wall, what's that? Oh, uh, you're, you know, you're up for a, a kind of place indoors. Oh, so we could have used that. Ah, oh, I quite like that anyway, actually. Let's, um, let's have that along there as like a bit of a barrier. Yeah. That looks pretty good anyway. It's not really the sort of thing I was thinking, but I actually think it works out quite nicely. And then we'll have a glass fence um, that's going to run from around here. 
There we go. I just love the fact that we've got all this variation that we can do outside as well. It's not very often uh, in these these sort of games where you're able to do so much work on the outside, is it? So I think that's a really nice uh, touch. We'll take this all the way down here. Like so. And the click and drag would be nice on these, but I, I understand why they haven't. Uh, right, so let's have a look. Hospital sign. Yeah. Placed inside the hospital property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that can't go anywhere, basically. What about bushes and stuff? Some some bushes. Oh, flower pots. They're going to be better up here, aren't they? Bush. Hedge. Hmm. Do we have any flowers? We have some flowers. Oh, we could do proper flower beds. Ah, okay. Here we go. Now we're talking. Yes. Okay. How many have we done there? Three on one, four on the other. So we'll match that. And then we'll come for a oops, slightly different colour. Lovely. Okay. And then here we'll stick a can we do can we get away with a tree there? No, that's pretty big. Smaller ones, no, they don't seem to work either. A young tree? Oh, that's you're more of a pavementy one, aren't you? Oh, I like you. We'll we'll use you, but not there. Um yeah, that's weird how sometimes they're like that. I don't get that at all. Uh, small flowers, no. Bushes it is. There we go. Uh, medium bush. No, because of the fencing we can't fit. But that's okay. There we go. We've got some nice... Not too sure about the flower beds, if I'm honest. Um, but we might have a, a re-look at that later on. These, though, I'm really into these. Let's... Uh, Let's sort those out for a moment. So uh, let's do some pathing up to the uh, to the entrance then. So we've got four wide here. We'll treat you as our sort of entrance run so we know what's going on. We'll have you like that. And then we'll have a little bit here and here. And I quite like the idea of having a bit of a sort of... Um, uh, like a sm like a smoking section almost really I know because uh, you know smoking's awful and bad for you but a lot of hospitals do actually have them uh, outside because they know that people are going to do it so when people are going to do it you kind of have to have somewhere for them to go so I'm thinking we could turn this here into a little bit of a smoking area so let's see if we can make it look good with the floor tiles that we've got um, coloured tiles but keeping it Keeping it sort of grey and, and grim. We'll go around. No, we can't do that because it's... Oh, no, it has to be a foundation, doesn't it? But that's okay. We can make a foundation. Make a foundation there like that. Oh, that messes up all of the stuff we've already done, which is perfect. Um, it's actually just those, isn't it, there? We need to change back. Yeah, and all this will be most likely a foundation as well later on, but an actual building. So um, that means we can't have that light there, but that's okay. Does it mean we can have other outdoorsy stuff? I bet we can't, can we? Because it's going to class as indoors now. Huh, okay. Do you know what, then? We'll scrap that idea. We'll instead have... Actually, we'll have something like this. Okay. So that's going to be our entrance point. Uh, how do we delete stuff? Is it going to have to be a delete key, Jobby? Yeah, there we go. Click, click, drag, and delete. There we go. And then we'll have some young trees. Oh, come on. Tell me we, these can go here. He's blocked by another object, which is why it's short. That's really unfortunate. Um, huh. What is it you're blocked? Are you blocked, or are you just being... Oh, no, you're just being chopped off. Let's get the walls up then so we can see them better. There we go. Um, okay, so we want one of you there and one of you there. There we go. And then we'll move these benches in. There we go. Outside trash, did I see? Yeah, they're looking good. I'll have a couple of you there and there. Okay, and... Oh, nice fountain. That might be a little bit grandiose for outdoors, mightn't it? Let's... Uh, uh, outdoors here at least. Let's not worry about those, but let's have a couple of these flower beds here and here. 
flare boxes even and here and here and then we'll work the rest of those into as we get other buildings up and running so talking about the buildings let's build a bit of a foundation out so we're going to have a um have a pretty fair old waiting room which is pretty much as you come in in fact the waiting room is going to come pretty much to here this can be a bathroom okay and then we'll have all of this be foundation as well i think that's probably going to be a pretty decent start for the size map uh, of what we want so let's come into here let's just fix these here all right and um, we'll have we'll leave the one around the back of the building actually because that kind of makes sense to have a, a bit of a line around the back of the building whoops 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 uh, the only other one i really don't like is that one there did we actually make that foundation Ah, I see what it's doing. Right, hold on then. Um, we need to go and change that back there. And then go back to our outdoor items. Like I say, the game is just not built for this kind of thing. So, uh, well, I say it might be. I don't know. I, I'm I'm really sort of pushing what I can do with it, though, because... There we go. Because, you know, that's just what we're like, isn't it? There we are. Okay, cool. So, walls. Um, haven't quite figured out how the walls work yet. Because I don't really want it to have, um, I like that one with the with whatever you call that thing at the bottom. I don't really want it to have interior brick walls, but it does, doesn't it? I think because you can't rotate the building, maybe that's why. Because it just it knows you can't rotate. So what it means for you to do is something like that. So the interior looks like it's interior. Um, And then the exterior doesn't. So I think that's kind of the idea behind it. So we have those there and those there. Um, but then after that, let's have a look. Relatively plain wall, white wall. Let's just do white wall for now. I think that's meant to be how you kind of get your, what your interior looks like. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll have the restroom come right across like that. That's not these walls there. Why that one wall there wants to uh, wants to stay up? I don't know. It seems quite weird actually. Let's see if we can fix it. Huh. I mean that one and that one does, but that one does it maybe because that one's going into another room. I guess it's kind of a weird weird mix, but that's fine. Um, right, toilet door, WC door. That's for the actual cubicle itself. We just want a regular kind of. Uh, oh, your windows, your windows, 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 white. So door, there's that one. There's that one, which is pretty much similar. There's a glass door, there's an x-ray door, that's no good. Um, restricted, that's no good. Um, actually, isn't a sort of regular plain door. I guess it's this one, really, then, isn't it? So that one, but with a white entrance, I think, is pretty good. Now, do we make these male or female, or do we make them... Um, do we keep them... Uh, unisex. I, I, I think we're going to keep them unisex. We're going to be quite forward-thinking doctors. So now we can have this restroom wall here, and we'll do it in quite a light colour. Okay, and the idea here is that these can get dragged down, and we can have one, two... Hmm. I mean, the idea is to do that, really, isn't it? That's kind of what you want. Whether or not we can fit everything we need into that, I don't know. Uh, WC door, you're going to be white. Uh, yeah, and yeah, there we go. And then stuff. Uh, we actually had to tell the game that this is a water closet at some point, but for now, yeah, see, that's all. That's what they have. That's all they have in there, isn't it? Is it's just cubicles. So, cubicles done. Sinks will have it against this wall. One, two. We'll have three. Okay, and then there's a mirror. That we can have, uh, yeah, just go that way. It's weird. The back of the mirror almost looks shinier than the front, and then there should be, I imagine, a hand dryer. I I'll tell you what, we'll do. Let's get over to here. We can actually tell the game that this is a restroom here. There we go. And now, when we click in it, it'll tell us what we need. Bingo, bango. There we go. Uh, yeah, hand dryer. That's what I was looking for. So I have a couple of you there. And I, I would say that's it. I mean, yeah, a space for a trash can would be nice. In fact, do we just go for one hand dryer? 
so we can have a um what are you? Oh you're a street light, okay, sorry. Plastic hamper, trash bin. So we can have a square one. Yeah. There we go. And we'll delete you. So we just have one hand dryer and a trash can. Okay, cool. So there's our bathroom cell. Uh, now we'll have pretty much this area here as a waiting room, I think. Uh, going into GP's offices there. So let's jump into the game. Let's put the walls down so we can really see what's going on. Uh, waiting room. Ah, reception. Sets priority for critical patients and directs them to the right department, office, etc. So let's have a reception desk area here as we go in. All right. And then the waiting room can be here, like so. And then we'll have a corridor going down here. So it's pretty much what we built in our uh, in our first version to be honest with you <laughs> we kind of had a very similar layout uh, so let's um let's go back into build let's get our, re our reception area complete um not accessible for patients missing staff so you are yeah you are huh okay so doors on the agenda first of all Sl nice big sliding doors oh look at those yes they're great okay so nice big sliding doors as they come in to the receptionist. Receptionist is going to have a big old desk that starts there. That comes to a head on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Okay. She's going to have an office chair behind. Or oh, he's going to have, excuse me. And a where's the PC? I'm assuming they need a PC. No? Huh. Here's me thinking they would have had to have had a PC. Oh yeah, there it is, PC. Right, okay. PC. And So is this waiting area not the regular waiting area? Is that what is is this all reception? We can have different waiting areas, I guess. So actually then this reception needs to be like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so in this waiting area then let's get some benches. Like so. And I feel like do you know what I feel like this wait this reception area just isn't big enough. I feel like we should have them like this so we can have some stuff uh, like like there waiting for her or him. I say her, do you know what it is? It's not that I think that receptionists have to be female, it's just that years of theme hospital has taught me that actually receptionists are, fe are female. So let's have yeah, that like that. There we go. Um, okay. So you come there. You come away for a moment. Let's instead uh, that one. There we go. So that's a nice reception desk now. Um, and we'll have another one fit in there. Okay. Um and then we'll have a card file. And a, can we have any couple of other bits that so keep them locked in place? No. Um, let's get rid of the card file, actually. Oops. Let's have you there. Cabinet with drawers. There we go. There's like an entrance way in. It's just you have to go past there to get to the bathroom. There we go. So we're going to have. Eventually, we'll have space for two receptionists, but I think to start off, we will just the one is all that's needed. Okay, so here's everything else that isn't really needed. Plants, yes. Let's get a couple of. Uh, you, can any of these go on tables? Yes, there we go. So I'll have one of you. Um, and I noticed board on the wall there for you. Table lamp. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Trash can. Hmm, <laughs> maybe not a trash can. Uh, clock, yeah, definitely clock in the room. 
Uh, okay, coffee table. We can get one in there with a little plant on it, maybe. No, cat's eye. A little tiny cactus, that's all right. Um, yeah, okay, and then over here, uh, well, we'll have a wall eventually, so this wall here will be uh, the edge of the area there. So this uh, this bit here can have uh, vending machines and stuff. Have we, let's have a look. Vending machine, perfect. So a couple of different colours of vending machines. It looks like they sell different products. And oh, you didn't put. A, oh yeah, do you know what? These sort of places do sometimes have sofas, don't they? Um, oh, that makes me want to change my mind a little bit. That makes me want to put that there and get rid of you, okay? And then get a little sofa. Oh, we can't quite fit you in there. Is there an armchair? Oh, there isn't an armchair. That's a shame. There's a regular chair. No, you don't look as good, do you? No, okay, okay. We'll 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 bin the uh, we'll bin the sofa idea, okay? We'll stick to vending machines. A oh, water, yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. So vending machines and some water, and then here, I would like to see some like leaflet holders, that sort of thing. That would be uh, that would be pretty good. We'll have a TV there saying what's going on and a key machine I mean I don't really know what these do to be honest put one there by the by the receptionist in case they're desperate for one um and let's get another little potted plant here yeah okay I think I'm gonna say that I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, waiting area. They, I don't really know what they do. They're the blueprint ones. Okay, so we've now got a waiting area. We need to add a member of staff. So let's see if I can remember how to do that. And that's all we're going to get done in this video is a toilet. <laughs> a toilet and a waiting area. Um, here we go. Uh, departments. Remind me how I see them. Here we go. Clinic. Uh, hire new staff. So nurses uh, work as receptionists, especially if they have receptionist trait, which you do, and you do. So you're going to be our one, Dana Cole. Uh, you are going to work as a receptionist. So let's just see you in action. Can we? Uh, there we go. She's going to take a seat and get on the PC and absolutely fantastic. Now waiting for staff. So let's just finish off with a little bit of detail on this area because I feel like the floor needs a lot more work. Construction floor at the moment we have. We want it to be a little bit nicer. Um, hardwood floor, I think that might be a little bit too nice, but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, let's have a nice hardwood floor for the waiting room. But then we have to go to something a little bit more clinical, I think. I think that's I think that's a, a good shout, is it? Something a little bit more clinical there. Uh, and also, um, I kind of feel like the bathroom should be checkered. It's pretty, pretty standard, isn't it? Checkered bathroom. Okay, so walls up. How do we look? Let's go to live mode. Walls mid. Still just gives that one wall there, rather weirdly. But I think... That's not a lot of little bad waiting room. Okay, so all right, episode one, we didn't even get a we didn't even get a doctor in the place, but you know what? That's kind of what we do. <laughs> uh, spend far too much time making the place look nice. I've just realised that now we have a big open space here. We need stuff on it. So is there posters? I'm pretty sure I saw posters before. Um, let's have a look. Decorative. Here we go. Um, poster tennis elbow. So let's get a couple of these. Is that telling me that they're no good? Uh, what do you think, Ario? <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but we've got a cat here now. Uh, no, they're, they're okay. Maybe they just can't actually be accessed like uh, like you'd want them to be. In the next episode, we will uh, we will definitely get a couple of GPs set up and expand this area as well. We've got all this space to fill, and we will look at other uh, 
you know things not just gps we'll get some we'll get some uh you know stuff to to cure people and what have you as well but for starting off with i actually think that's not a bad little start thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so over on our geekism discord server you will find the link for that in the description thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one.